I'm Rob Spiegel, Senior Editor for Design News. Welcome to today's Design News Fast Chat. We're going to be talking with Paul Bosniak, Application Engineer with Oriental Motor USA. Paul, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Today we're going to talk about what uh, Oriental Motor makes, and we're going to talk about the concept of modular automation. Okay, Paul, we'll jump right in. Who is Oriental Motor? So Oriental Motor, we are a uh, fractional horsepower uh, motor manufacturing company. So we specialize in uh, providing motion solutions of a couple of, uh, you know, variety of different types, such as for positioning, speed control, you know, linear rotary motion, those types of uh, motors and mechanisms and systems. All right. Uh, what recent products has Oriental Motor released that coincide with market trends and market directions? Um, yeah, so a lot of our recent releases and products have revolved around, um, first is going to be the, the compactness. We've released a lot of compact drives and, and, um, tr and products that are intended to allow for smaller machine design. And then also um, certain control controllability, such as networking. Networking is a very big, very popular and growing um, you know, trait and, and aspect on a machine design um, because it allows for you know, quick and reliable um, and frequent communication between devices. So a lot of our release, recent products have also revolved around trying to expand our products and offering more of those networking communication options. Okay, what industries do they play in, Paul? Oh, we're involved in a lot of different industries. Uh, I mean, semiconductor, medical, food packaging. Um, you'll see networking mostly probably in those factory automation, you know, uh, manufacturing, food industry kind of uh, industries. Great. Thanks. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very interested in this notion, which uh, I've read about a little bit, uh, called modular automation. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you could explain what that is and how your products fit in. Sure. Yeah. So modular automation, the, the idea around it is going to have to deal with the transportation of products and the transportation of machines. So I, I like to break it up into two levels. Um, first is going to be that smaller, more component level where you are able to design a machine uh, using compact products. And that overall allows you to uh, minimize the size of your end results machine. So being able to design a, a in in-house robot and in-house machine ends up being smaller, ends up being more efficient because you're using highly efficient motors. And then on the larger scale, you also have um, taking that to a larger, a larger scale. So having multiple machines and, and robots interacting with each other and collaborating to help boost your, your production and your efficiency. Um, so the, the idea behind that one is transforming the more uh, a traditional assembly line where you have longer conveyor systems and you know certain um, process stops along the way. And we're transforming that into a more modular system where we have our machine robots able to be, uh, excuse me, they're able to be mobile so that we can better utilize the space and the um, production layout to, again, boost production and, and increase efficiency. Okay, how do your products fit into this kind of automation? Uh, yeah, so as I kind of mentioned earlier, we are releasing products that are going to be you know, more compact. So a lot of compact driver, drivers we're releasing, for example, that's going to allow us to minimize the, again, the size and the weight of the machine, which overall uh, means we are able to kind of conserve energy because we're now you know, moving less mass and we just have a more highly efficient system you know, working in our production. Um, a couple other aspects, like I mentioned earlier, is going to be the networking communication. So uh, introducing that reliable, um, quick communication to um, engage feedback and exchange data between devices to, again, bo boost efficiency in production. Um, and then also just having that, honestly, wide product breadth, because with these kinds of systems um, and them being so kind of specific, you could need, you know, rotary motion, linear motion, uh, maybe, uh, maybe a gripping motion of some kind, having access to lots of different mechanisms and types, again, whether they be rotary motors, rotary actuators, linear actuators and cylinders, any of the sort, um, having an, a 
access to the, all of those options is going to be able to better fit the end designer where they can design uh, their machine a um, little, little more customized to their application. All right. Well, thanks, Paul. That's all the time we have for today. I've been speaking with Paul Bosniak, application engineer with Oriental Motors USA. Mm -hmm. And thank you for having me on, Rob. I, I really appreciate it, kind of giving us a chance to, you know, um, kind of express, you know, who we are and allow us to kind of show what we're doing uh, in order to keep up with, you know, market trends and automation and everything. So, again, Great. thank you. Thank you.